what is up everybody welcome back to the vlog today it's saturday it is what does it say it's 70 degrees outside which is bs because the with the wind chill is probably like 60 something either way i know i got a jacket on it's not that cold but i like to drive with the windows down which then increases the cold factor so anyways but anyways got a cool vlog for you guys i'm gonna be doing some cool things um well not really cool it's cool for me but you guys you come along for the ride i gotta go drop off my uh wrist pins uh to my builder and then i gotta pick up a blow off valve a turbo smart blow off valve from jdm express gene shout out to gene please um and then i gotta go pick up some lug nuts so i didn't announce it yet but so i, I recently sold my work wheels um my work emotion t5rs or 17 x 8 17 x 9 staggered setup for the mr2 um so i recently sold those and obviously my car is on jack sands as you can see here um now uh the goal was to buy some new wheels i ended up getting a good deal on some volks some like old school like period correct volk gtc's um there's 17 my 8 17 my 9 and a half i think um offset unknown um, i would guesstimate it's about 35 to 32 uh, millimeter offset positive um and unfortunately the day that i got on my buddy like we didn't like we didn't he didn't think to bring the lug nuts um which for you for those of you guys that know volt gtc's and ab3's they use special lug nuts and i'm not talking about special like oh it's conical or it's you know it's rounded whatever no no, no. I'm, I'm talking about like legit proprietary specialty lug nuts as shown here And these lug nuts, uh, they are expensive, but he has them and he thought, that, oh yeah, I didn't think you would need them. And I already had lug nuts and I didn't even think to ask him to bring it. But either way, I gotta go get those because without those, you can't, like they don't, you can't mount any of the lug nuts because literally the, the lug nut hole on the wheel is probably like 17 millimeters, like external diameter. So even if I was to get like tuna, the tuna lugs won't fit because the thing is, because the hole is so small, you would have to get open-ended tuner lug nuts because of the way it's it's just very, very tiny. So um, long story short, I gotta get those. Otherwise I came out the wheels of the car, which sucks because I really wanna see what it looks like. I mean, I had 17 on the car, but these are a slightly different offset and I wanted to see what they look like in this configuration first um, before I decide to possibly customize it. So the goal is to probably redo the face because this is a, a two-piece design. So the face, the barrel is separate and then the, you know the face comes off um it unbolts and then you have like you know you know your hex i think it's like hex keys like hex key i think it's like a m7 uh 10 point something like that and then i think on the back has a 10 or 12 excuse me 10 or 12 millimeter um nut on the back so um either way that's what's going on for today stay along for the ride out to go to jdm express uh, i gotta pick up uh i gotta pick up a part then i also gotta go um see if you can give me a quote on what it would be to ship these um i have a guy um hit me up on marketplace asked me about the cams and he's like going back and forth he's like oh what's the best price blah blah you know you always get that i hate that but um and he didn't suggest what he wanted to pay so it was just it was kind of annoying so i was like look look let me see what it would cost to ship these because he lives in like chicago or something like that um obviously you guys know i'm in florida um, let me see what it costs to ship these and I'll let you know because um, I think I have them up for like I think it was uh, 650 or best offer um, I didn't initially include it shipping because recently it's been kind of crazy and I don't I don't have like I have a uh, an account like a, a FedEx account stuff like that for work but obviously I'm not trying to use my work account you know for this because it's not for work obviously but um so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna see what my boy Gene says, how much he would charge me to ship this, whatever, and then we'll go from there. Um, and then I'll message the guy and see what's up. But it's just kind of annoying. I typically don't like doing this because of the fact that it's actually work. And a lot of times, you know, it, it, unless you have the business where you're already paying for the service, it's one thing. But if you're not paying for the, you know, for shipping and all this crap, like all, you know, and you don't have these accounts with these companies, it's kind of, you know, it doesn't make any sense. Cause then essentially you start dipping into the money, you know, that you're, that you're paying monthly, you know, so, um, I would have to see, but anyways, 
long story short i'm getting there and then from there i gotta go drop off uh drop off these wrist pins so i got um you guys know i'm running the wiseco uh i think it's like 10 2 to 1 compression piston turbo pistons all along with my um manly turbo tough um uh, connecting rods and the wiseco's this is like the only company that does this so wiseco apparently unless you buy the kit along with the boost line rods was wiseco boost line rods they don't give you the um the upgraded wrist pins they're, they're usually like the regular wrist pins which is kind of dumb but cp carrillo arius um what's the other company manly i think manly actually sells business too they all sell them with the upgraded piston um wrist pins already which if if they know it breaks like why well, and you know people are going to complain about it. just just upgrade it from the jump and then just charge people up front because cp does it no one has any problems you know carrillo does it or cp carrillo does it Arius does it no problem so it's kind of annoying that manly or uh, wiseco is doing this um but it is what it is i mean i still I, i've used the pistons before they're great but because in this case it's k-series motor they typically the the normal um piston wrist wrist pins are not really compatible for anything over 600 horsepower like i mean even at 600 it's like it's it's pushing it so yeah i have um i went to kseriesparts.com and um they had them they sell them separate like you literally buy one one piston um wrist pin at a time or you could buy four or whatever in this case i needed four so i have all four here and you can see there's a there's a significant difference between the wall thickness the edge like it's even the weight like it's it's definitely it's a thicker more sturdy um wrist pin so and that's the thing it's all about safety at this point because i mean all, all this money you put into a build the last thing you need is to skimp on such a, a you know a, a cheap you know crucial part of the build that could literally cascade into a catastrophic nightmare so um yeah i mean these wrist pins were super cheap you know compared to you know not <laughs> not buying them and just leaving it'd be a mess so food for thought if you're gonna run the wiser cold pistons whether it's um the 10 2 or 10 5 the one make sure oh there's a lotus right there it's kind of cool hey what's up bud so in my, where i live man it's like they got some cool ass cars in here but anyways long story short um yeah, if you're gonna run the Wiseco pistons, like I'm running the 10 to the one, they're great pistons, but make sure if you're gonna buy them separately uh, from whatever company, if they offer the ability to upgrade the wrist pins, do it. If they don't offer it, then buy it separately. If like, let's say you get a the deal, then buy it separately. You can buy it separately. Or if you have the cash at the time and you don't have, and you like buy the pistons and the rods together, um, once again, I think I know Four Piston does it, Dry Cartel does it, I think Speed Factory does it. Shout out Speed Factory. Um, they sell the piston rod combo with the upgraded wrist pin option. Okay. I know I've seen it for the Manly and the CPs. I didn't see it for the um, Wise Coast at the time because I wasn't like I bought the piston separately. That's why it never even came up. But food for thought, third time. If you're going to run the Wise Coast pistons, turbo pistons, Make sure if you're gonna buy it separately, upgrade the wrist pins. Don't even try putting them in there. Maybe if it's an all motor, then fine. But anything over 300 horsepower, I would suggest upgrading the wrist pins in the wiser Gold pistons only. All the other ones, CP, Manly, uh, and areas, they come with the upgraded wrist pins like, like in the box, unless specified, but generally that's what they come with. But um, anyways, I digress. But yep, so I'm about to head over to JDM. Um, pick up my um my block valve and then i'm gonna go run with my boy domi and drop off these wrist pins and then um i have to i have to go pick up my lug nuts too uh which it's all the way it's like another 40 minutes away so whatever well we'll figure this out let's see where i'm at at whatever time and then i'll i'll kind of decide if i need to go all the way over there but um anyways stay tuned take the block
aprendí a los dos. Pues ya él se le sale para le sale como un seis porque tuvo que buscar la más a a media. Pero lo que pasa es que por ahí se pegaba un. ¿Cuál es la caja de la esta de los viejos ahí en la red de YouTube que tienen que ver? No se gusta de cómo que ¿Qué pasa que el, el primero se regó la. Charlie Famous. Primero se regó la esta teoría de que. No te los calificó. 45 más lo, el viaje, y le sale como un 6 más o menos le sale. Pero eso sí, está ori ese caso está original. Yo, what's good? Damn, it's hot. So I just finished um, coming out of JDM Express. Got my blow off valve and a hey, boy hooked it up with a cool windshield banner. And I can't reach right now, but let me see. Damn it. Yep, so I got my blow off valve. So this is the uh, Turbo Smart uh, Gen V race port uh, in black. Got it in black because um, my, uh, my power gate, my Gen V gate is black. Um, my vibrant clamps are black, so yeah. So I love this. I, I decided to go with this one instead of the um, tile, um, just because I want to keep it consistent. Um, and I've used tile before. There's nothing wrong with tile. I just prefer the Turbo Smart. Uh, they make really good stuff. Um, and I wanted to keep it consistent. It has a little nipples here, uh, so it has one nipple, and then it has one um, set screw, like. Block off screw. So, and then it's got a cool little, cool little Turbo Smart, Turbo Smart sticker. So yeah, I'm actually heading over to uh, my um, builder's house now, or builder's well, not his house, but he's at someone else's house doing the build. So I'm gonna go drop off. I gotta drop off my wristbands and what else? Yeah. So I gotta go drop off my drop off the wrist pins, and then I'm probably gonna head over to Kissimmee to go grab uh, these damn lug nuts. So, um, yeah, going for the ride. 420. Wow, barely rain. And you see, uh, Drag Cartel they came out with the new mm -hmm. carbon fiber. Yeah, but uh, that's a manifold. That's something like for street cars, I think. Yeah, but I, I, the thing is, the one that they sell, it didn't have the spacer, but still, I think. With the spacers, like you know, I mean, Skunk Two ain't gonna sell another freaking manifold once that's. Like